Thomas the Tank Engine loves his branch line. One day, when he stopped at a small station, some children look sad. They've closed our playground and our favourite sand pit. Teacher said the sand is soiled and too dirty to play in. Please help us, Thomas, they pleaded. I'll see what I can do, replied Thomas kindly. Thomas hoped things weren't quite as bad as the children had made them out to be. But as he passed their playground, a large sign read, Playground closed until further notice. The children were right, thought Thomas sadly. He puffed into the yards and was just about to tell the other engines about the playground when Percy rushed in. You look glum, little Percy. What's up? asked Gordon. The Fat Controller told Driver that he's using Harold to show a special visitor the island instead of using any of us engines. Despicable, said Gordon. Disgusting, snorted Henry. Engines are meant to take special visitors round our island, not that whirly bird thing, James exclaimed. Gordon was the first to see Harold. Harold thinks he can go faster than me. I'll show him. Next, it was Henry's turn. The Fat Controller has chosen Harold because he thinks he's more important than me. Well, he's not. Harold can't fly through tunnels. Percy stopped by a signal on his branch line near a field where sheep were grazing. Harold hovered for a while, then buzzed away. I know what he's doing, said Percy. He's counting sheep and he puffed along his line, feeling much better about things. That evening, the engines talked about the situation. Harold wants to get rid of us, said Gordon grimly. He doesn't need tunnels, added Henry. Don't worry, he's just counting sheep, said Percy. Counting sheep? Pa! snorted Gordon. He's counting how many engines he can get rid of. He'll see how useful I am tomorrow. Thomas wanted to mention the children's playground, but solving the mystery of Harold and the special visitor came first. The next day, Gordon was travelling to collect his train. We'll show that whirly bird just how fast you can go, Gordon, said his driver. Because they were watching Harold, they missed a signal and went onto the wrong line. Gordon was travelling to trouble. Ahead was a tunnel under repair. His driver reduced steam and braked hard. But it was too late. Later, Thomas pulled Gordon clear with the breakdown train. The fat controller spoke severely to Gordon's driver about the accident. Will Gordon be scrapped, sir? asked Thomas sadly. What makes you think that? said the fat controller. Thomas decided to pluck up courage. Because the engines think the special visitor is here to see if we can be replaced by Harold, he replied. The fat controller laughed. Ho, ho. Well, the engines are wrong and you shouldn't listen to rumours, Thomas. This gentleman is making a new playground for the children. It was easier to find a suitable site from up in the air. And what's more, said the special visitor, that tunnel sand will be perfect for the playground. Found by accident and rumour, you might say. The fat controller still uses Harold to fly above the island. But all the engines know that Harold isn't spying on them. He is, in his way, just being very useful.